no wonderful interwebs, it is I, David, most miserable of all the Hewlett's. Well, not so miserable anymore, now that that's over. Thank God. I was really looking forward to my burn to learn today. I was like, I was eager to leap on the torture device. Well, not so much that part, but I was eager for my 66 minutes of pure learning. Instead, I got like, like what felt like 66 days of pure hell. It was a true devil's workout today. 66 minutes at six uh, resistance. I just... God, it was awful. So I think the lesson learned here is don't look forward to it. From now on, I will dread it because it never feels that bad when you just when you think, oh, God, it's awful. I don't want to do it. Then you finally do it. You're like, woohoo. This way, I was like, woohoo. And then I came in. I was like, oh, this is awful. It's just a bad way to be. Um, so this, I should say, is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who is leaving me to go to a Berlin film market. So she's coming back. She better come back. Uh, I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent way possible. If you don't see a video, it means I haven't exercised and I'm feeling really guilty. So um, I have to say that. I have to say if you don't see a video because, you know, it's like it's true. Um, it seems to be like the only thing that keeps me going. And today, ah, oh God, I really had to fight it today. And I just don't understand why some days are worse than others. But, you know, so be it. Um, I even ate breakfast because I thought I would be like, you know, that would, that would give me the strength I needed to do it. But nope, nope, just made it absolutely miserable. Um, the learning of my burn and learn today. Oh, it was exciting. Back into the data scientist world. So I'm taking this sort of data scientist stream in LinkedIn Learning, um, which talks you through you know, the nature of the jobs and the, and, and, uh, into probability statistics and the stuff you need and then the programs you need. And it's just, it's a fantastic sounding, uh, little curriculum. And, uh, so I'm sort of plowing my way through that. Uh, today I got into standard deviation, um, in, uh, what is it called? Uh, Z score, Z score, whatever they call it. Uh, just a bunch of things for helping you figure out what all those numbers mean. How do you put those numbers in, in, in context? Um, I took a little sideline. I will admit I got into standard um, uh, uh, deviation and then I was like, well, you know what? They're glossing over the math, as they should. I totally get that. Uh, normally I'm, I'm fine with that. But in this case, I was like, no, I just want to know the numbers better. So I, I, I sort of jumped on over to, uh, was it organic chemistry tutor again and uh, looked up uh, standard deviation and uh, they went through some sort of population stuff, which is kind of cool, standard deviation in population um, versus you know the data, like actual data versus sample data and how to work all that stuff out. Really cool. So, and I think, again, what this just keeps hammering home for me is the idea that these are all tools like mean, medium, mode, range, standard deviation, um, Z-score, Z-score, any of that stuff, it's just to help you tell the story with these numbers, help you get an idea of what the sense of, you know, where, where are the, you know, where is most of this data coming from? What do these outliers mean? What is an outlier? You know, I mean, an outlier is supposed to be just an abnormal number, but what does that mean? Like, I mean, it's obviously still in the, in the mix somewhere. So, um, you know, are they important? Are they the beginning of a new trend? You know, it's just kind of cool stuff. So, um, again, a lot of things that I'd sort of had a sense of before, but just really diving, the deep dive down on the stuff is just very, very cool. Um, and again, it's, it's something I wish, I wish I'd taken an interest in, or at least maybe had been guided towards this more as a, as a kid, because I, you know, I'm working with, I'm working with letters. I'm working with, uh, uh, you know, Greek symbols and stuff now. It, like that's the stuff that I thought was cool when I saw math. Like when I saw math in movies, it was all, you know, it was all Greek to me. Uh, it was just all these great, you know, looking equations and stuff. And I feel like in a way, that's what you want to inspire with. You want to inspire with stuff that's, that seems like magical and, 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 and unobtainable. And then once you're excited about that, there are so many resources now like so many online, you can figure you can figure out how to do anything online. God help you, um, you know. But once you've got that excitement about it, you you'll look at, into that stuff, and I think it's the only way you're gonna take it in and, and find it and get any interest or, or or value out of it. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the tech bandit stuff. I mean, that's right, a little bit of a I'm getting on my high horse here. Um, I have tech bandits on Friday. There is a teacher strike, like an unprecedented teacher strike in Ontario. Is it Ontario? Is it the whole? I don't know what it was. Certainly in Toronto. Anyways, um, uh, where all the teachers are gone uh, on Friday. And uh, I just, I don't want the tech bandits to miss out. Um, I don't want me to miss out. I mean, maybe it's just selfish. But I just, I also feel like, you know, the, the, the kids' education is suffering because the parents, because, not the parents, because the grown-ups can't get along. 
You know what I mean? Like, I just, I feel like, are we that screwed? I mean, this is literally our future. These are the, these little minds are the, are the, well, the bigger minds than mine in many cases. But, you know, these minds are, are the future. I'm going to start singing Whitney Houston in a second, aren't I? Anyways, point being is, I, I just, I feel like, strike or not, we should do the Tech Bandits. It also gives me an opportunity to give, to, they get a good solid two hours and pizza. Um, although, God, pizza's expensive. I just got the, I'm looking at the bills. You know, uh, speaking of bills, I have a new little section on the on the website that's that's like a donation thing where you don't have to sign up for a monthly thing. It's just a direct donation thing. So throwing that out there, pizza's expensive. Um, uh, so I'll probably just do that again. I, I got to figure out a cheaper way. We need a pizza sponsor. That's what we need. Um, but uh, or maybe I could just get them to bring their own lunches or something. But then there's just so much cleanup, and I just it's I'm just trying to keep things simple so that I I do it. Um, and then of course Jane's away, so uh, this thing. Anyway, lots of stuff to work out for Friday this week. Um, but I do, I just, I really do love it, and I hate the idea that they are being denied this stuff because, because the grown-ups can't make a decision. So, anyways, there's that. I'm not taking sides. I'm just throwing that out there. General malaise and frustration. Um, you know, and I'm not. I mean, you know, I'm in a way I'm not dealing with this other than with tech bandits because my you know my son I feel guilty to say it is 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 at a private school and he's at a private school because you know I, I he needed he needed more attention like he's he's a fantastic kid but he's very like his father he's a little distracted um so anyways that's the point there's my little bit about that um so uh so yeah tech bandits this week I don't know exactly what we'll do probably end up doing a lot more of this they love the tech autopsy or a lot of them love the tech autopsy stuff um but I think I have a couple of new newer kids coming in this week, so we'll see. There, there may be some more stuff to play with. I'd really like to do some biotech. Maybe I should stop asking them what they want to show them, because um, there could be some really fun. I wanted to play with the yeast and get some shots of that. Maybe that the steam sisters could use later on, and uh, and also maybe just you know just get, get a few little uh, little plates set up for um, uh, for some uh, some culturing of uh, bacteria and stuff. I just think it'd be kind of neat. Anyways, point being is uh, that's up set up for Friday. Uh, Jane's going to Berlin and we'll be leaving soon so I should leave too so that I can go and say goodbye to her so um, until we geek again sweaty or not hopefully slightly less confused uh, cheerio